Hey guys, Dan here with another video. This is episode 19 of our Unity Make an RPG series, and today I'm going to be going over leveling and experience gains. Uh, I know the videos jump around a lot. I just like making a video depending on how I feel that day, depending on like on the subject. But anyways, I'm going to be covering experience and leveling, and uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is creating a static, a uh, couple static functions within a leveling or an increased experience class and this can be applied to several different things it does doesn't have to be experience maybe it's reputation maybe it's like a ranking system uh, achievements this can work definitely for achievements quests quest progress anything like that the basic structure that is but the the, the scripts I'm gonna be writing are, are specifically for experience I can go over how to create how to create quests and achievements too in the future but anyways, I'm in the same project. Uh, we left off last time where we had a character controller control this capsule, which is our character. I'm going to go into our scripts folder, and I'm going to create a new uh, C Sharp script. I'm going to call it Increased uh, Experience. And uh, yeah, call it an Increased Experience. I'm going to open it up Mono Develop. And uh, the first. First, I'm going to get rid of all this. We don't need it. We're not going to be using mono behavior. So basically, what I want to do is be able to, in a script, let's say, um, after in our original turn-based battle script, we have a end battle uh, state. And so let's say in that, let me let me load that up. We can go look at it. I believe it's still in here. Uh, here we go. Okay. So we have these three states, if you guys remember, this is a while ago. We have a lose and win. And basically, in these two states, we can we can apply a uh, an increased experience, um, or we can call the increased experience and send it a value, maybe send it, we can send it something so that it tells this script that we're going to be working on today to add experience to our player character. So the idea is... My idea, at least, is to make a stat a public class, but have static functions where we can just keep accessing those functions and whenever, wherever we want. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we'll create a public static uh, function, and we're going to it's not going to return anything, so it's going to return a void, and we'll call it add uh, experience, and it, you can call it whatever you want, uh, but basically now. We need to uh, control us to save. We need to go back into Unity, and we need to make sure that our base our base player has uh, an XP component, in which it doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. We're going to make another private integer, and we're going to call it current XP. And then we're going to make another private int, and we're going to call it uh, required XP. And then we're going to make our public setters and getters for it. So we'll go public int uh, current XP. And we'll do get set just like we've been doing before. So public int, this needs to be a capital C. We're going to have to add a few things elsewhere, but this, man, get set. There we go. All right, so we added that in our base class. We need to go to our game information script and add that in there as well so that we can access that information. Load that up in Mono Develop. Here we go. And I just go in here, make a public static int. Uh, we'll call it current XP. Get set. We'll do a public static int uh, not internal int required XP now the reason why I wanted to cover XP is because I know there's a ton of videos on YouTube that go over how to make RPGs and stuff but I feel like none of them have actually covered how to add, add experience points uh, and I think that's a problem I don't know why they're like that but they are like that so anyways in control us to save uh, both all the scripts uh, we added it in our game information we've added it to our base player so that means in our increase experience function we can actually find it so now the next thing we want to do is if we're gonna add experience we gotta decide whether or not we want to send it a value to add or if we want to send it uh, anything uh, I know in previous projects I have it set up so if you win um, 
you win a battle versus an AI component, uh, you win less experience versus if you win a battle versus a real opponent. So you could do something like that, or you can, you can create an algorithm. So maybe it looks at the level. So maybe you want to say, uh, we'll actually do that real quick. We'll make a simple algorithm. So we'll go, let's make a pub private float. Uh, uh, we'll call it, let's see, XP to give. Okay. And XP to give, we'll say, is equal, we'll say, uh, let's see, equal to, hmm. We want to look at the character level, so we'll go game information dot character level, player level. Uh, so let's say the, and we just we can multiply it by let's say a hundred. That's simple for now. So what we're doing here is we're saying whatever our player level is times a hundred will give us our experience gain. Very simple algorithm. It's not much, uh, not much to say, but it's going to give us a value, which is exactly what we want. So we'll go. Um, we're going to debug log it so we can see how much we're getting. Okay. So what we did is we created a, a static function that we're uh, that's going to add experience to our player. So what we're doing, and then we to figure out how much XP we want to give for whatever reason. Doesn't have to be killing me anything. Maybe uh, I know in some like uh, multiplayer games and stuff, and single player games, RPGs. When you walk around, and you explore things, you gain experience. It could be that you know maybe you walk into a zone, and in Unity you hit some collider uh, that's attached to that zone or entrance to that zone, and says, "Oh, this is your first time here. Here's however much experience to um, to give you." So. Anyways, we created this uh, variable XP to give. It's calculated by our player level times 100. And now we want to, uh, we need to attach it. So once we give it, we need to say, okay, well, do game information dot uh, current, current, oh my goodness, current XP plus equals. So, So here, this line I just wrote is saying we're going to add whatever the X, this XP to give value is to our game information current value, and then we're going to uh, output it into the debug console. Now the next thing we need to do is is going to be is look and say, okay, we just added XP to do our current XP, but is it greater? Is this XP greater than the required XP? So you need to go if current or if game information dot current XP is greater or equal to our required XP our game information dot required XP if it is if this is true then we've leveled up so basically what this is checking I'm saying I've added this experience let's say we have a required XP of 200 and we have 100 currently and we gain 100 because we're level 1 so that means when we add it here, we apply it and we check this, our current XP is actually equal to our game information or our required XP. Therefore, we need to create a function that levels our character up, resets our required XP back to a new number, and resets current uh, to zero or to whatever's left of the uh, XP to give. So here we can create a, uh, <clears throat> a level up function. Or level up script, which that's what we're going to do, so you can keep them separate. So I'm going to make a note: uh, create level up script. Control is to save. So now I want to show you guys that, like, um, we're not going to do anything with, with this yet. I'm going to work. I'll I'll definitely build a. Uh, or write a level up script for you guys. Probably not in this video. Maybe the next one. But I just want to show you how you can access this in our turn-based combat thing. So right now we're not, not. We'll just when we let's say when we lose we don't do anything, but when we win we gain XP. And so what we want to do is you want to go in here and you're going to call increase experience dot add experience. So when we win when when our battle wins and we go to this state we're going to add experience to our player through this static function. Now there's one other thing that 
we need to go over real quick. In the update function is when, when it gets down to this battle state win, it's going to constantly increase our experience. Uh, it's going to constantly call this function because when it goes to win, it just sits here. And we don't want it to do that. We want it to do it once. So there's a few things you can do. And the easy way is just create an if statement. Just create a bool. And uh, so we'll go up to the front, uh, to the top, and type in private bool. And uh, is, no, has, we'll call it has added XP. We'll set it equal to false at the start. And just, just in case, we can go has added, set it false at the start again. And then we're going to do an if statement. If has added XP is true, uh, we'll say if it's false, then we'll do this. So I added a uh, exclamation point at the front of the if statement. So we're going to say if added XP is false, then we're going to add it. And then we're going to immediately say has added XP is equal to true. So this is going to stop. This is, this is going to have it so we only add experience once. So what we've done today is created a simple add experience uh, static function that can be accessed anywhere within our scripts. And I've showed you how to include it on our uh, battle state um, state machine that we created uh, quite a few videos ago. And I wanted just to go over and say, like, you can make several functions. Uh, so you don't have to do all. Of, you can have different algorithms for different things. So let's say you want, let's say you do walk it. You have uh, several zones in your uh, project that you're working on that you want the player to explore. And when they explore that, you can uh, you give them experience a certain amount of experience based on a different algorithm than after battle. So what you could do is create another um, create another static function. Say add exploration uh, experience. Let's call it yeah. And then in this you can create a whole another uh, a whole another algorithm to give. So maybe you want it, uh, XP to give, let's see, XP to give is equal to our game information dot level times, I don't know, number, let's say, like number of areas explored. So maybe it goes up the more, more, excuse me, the more areas you've explored, maybe it goes down, whatever you can think of. Um, you can also go this is also good to say, let's say you want to add experience. Uh, so you go, if you lose a battle, so you can say add experience uh, from loss, from battle loss. So instead of, maybe this, maybe the first one we did is from a win, maybe, and then this one you want to do XP to give is equal to game information. Dot level, and instead of a hundred, maybe it's just ten. And then you go game information dot current XP plus equals to uh, XP to give. And then again, you got to run the same check. Now instead of having this one, um, so instead of here's a thing we come into instead of keep say you add a whole bunch of these different experience functions instead of uh, calling the same three, four lines, or whatever this ends up being, over and over again. You can just come down here, create a private uh, function. It's going to be a void, and we're going to call it check to see if player leveled. Okay, and then basically we can just come up here. Uh, we'll cut that. Control X, paste Control V, and so now we can just call this function. We can go check. Control C. I'm going to uh, come down here, copy that. Oh my goodness. Paste it. And we can just check it. So already we're kind of refactoring and making it a little faster for us. I don't know if it's actually faster, but it looks cleaner and easier to read. So now we're only. So now we only, we've written one set of code. We're one piece of code once. And so if you say you had like a hundred different experience add uh, types of adding, or maybe you have uh, you can even subtract the XP if you want. Uh, I know some games used to do. That. I think old 
Final Fantasy XI used to do that. Uh, anyways, maybe in your game you want characters to lose XP if they die or something. You can go in here and say uh, lose XP uh, from death and still apply the same thing. To, and then you can, has, you can even create a check to see if player lost level. Um, anyways, uh, I know I didn't cover a whole bunch of this video. I'm going to keep going in, in depth uh, with more of this experience. Um, I did want to say that this can be used elsewhere. Like I said, achievements, quests, you can use the same idea of having a static function that adds progress or adds uh, reputation points, adds rank, anything. It doesn't have to be experience. It can be whatever, you know, whatever is in your imagination. Um, in the next video, I'm going to uh, set up, go back to our turn-based battle and have it set up so we can test all this in game. And then once we get a basic experience leveling system up and running, I'm going to move on to creating a basic battle so that we can actually kind of have a uh, working prototype game. Um, just to update you on my schedule, I'm going to be uh, leaving again this next this coming weekend for like four days, and then I'll be back making videos. Uh, anyways, I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, leave comments, and uh, I'll see you next time.